Hi everyone, this is Mari of MariPfeiffer.com and in this session I'm going to show you some really simple ways of getting started um, on designing your website without knowing any code. So is there a trick to this? No, not really. It's just a matter of common sense. So before we get started I just want to quickly remind you that I do have another video in which I talk about looking for a premium theme that's right for you. So if you haven't watched that already, um, please do. But um, in this video, I'm assuming that you do have a premium theme or you've looked for one, you've opened it up, and you're not entirely sure of how to proceed. So um, in this particular case, I'm going to be using um, a design application called Rapid Weaver. It's for the Mac. But the principles here are the same across the board. So whether you're using WordPress or some other CMS or design application, if you have to use a premium, or I should say, if you just have to use a theme in order to use the application, then there's always um, a list of settings that you can change with just a click of a button or something um, in order to really change the look of your site. Okay, so for our purposes today, I created this fake site called Skate for Life. And um, I just did this because I used to skateboard a lot when I was a kid. Uh, I still love to watch skateboarders a lot. And um, I am going to be using a premium theme by a developer called Brandon Lee Themes. So this is the Serenade theme. Brandon Lee Themes creates premium themes for Rapid Weaver. They are all incredibly gorgeous. I mean, just look at this one. It's amazing. And um, I'm trying to remember, I bought this one quite a while back, but I can't remember why I got it. I just looked at it and thought, oh my gosh, amazing. I checked out all the features and thought, okay, I could definitely use this either for myself or for a client. I kind of collect themes for that reason. <laughs> but this one is really, really amazing and it's responsive and has got lots of features. So I decided to start creating this dummy site. So in order to change things, with the click of a button. The first thing you need to do is find out where those settings are. So in Rapid Weaver, you would go to the upper right hand corner here to page info. This is the page inspector. Click on it and go to styles. I'm already in there. I just wanted to do something really quick here. I forgot to set this up properly for you. Okay. Um, so one of the reasons why um, I want to change this site is that um, the background out of the box when you first download the Serenade theme and you start using it, the settings are such that the background is black. There's just a lot of black everywhere in the background. And for my purposes, eh, it doesn't really work. It's a little bit too dark and also when you read a site that has a black background and white text, it starts to get a little bit hard on your eyes. And I don't think that that coloring really works for this particular theme, these colorful and um, fun skateboards. So I'm going to be changing that. So whether you're working in Rapid Weaver or WordPress or anything else, the most important thing to do is to find out where this dashboard, where these settings are, so you can change them without knowing any code. So in Rapid Weaver, we're in styles. And the first thing I want to do, and I'm going to show you some pretty drastic changes so that you can really see it. These are not necessarily changes that I would apply to my site or clients, but I'm just trying to get you uh, familiar with what you can do. So for example, I don't like the the black background of the header area. So I'm going to go down to website colors and see if there's an entry here where I can change that. And sure enough, there is header top background. So I click on that. My colors um, options pop up here and I'm going to do something really ridiculous like this blue. See, click of a button. It's blue. I didn't have to know any code for that header border. So that's the border right below the header. Let's change that to something crazy like orange. I would never do this for a real site again. Okay, toolbar background. Now in this theme, the menu is called the toolbar. So again, you have to get familiar with the terminology that the developer is using in the particular theme. So let's change that to, I don't know, how about a funky pink? I know, that's kind of crazy, but again, I'm just trying to show you what you can do. Um, again, there's a toolbar bottom border, so let's change that to mm, purple. Can't really see it very well. Okay, banner background. So if you have um, a banner here that doesn't stretch across the page, you might want to change the banner background. I'm going to be leaving that 
the way it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview what we've done so far. Go preview, Google Chrome. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, very different. So I scroll down the page, and one thing I've noticed is, excuse me, I need to update my computer, I know. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the content is um, all pretty much on the left side of the page. So that tells me that there's probably a sidebar here on the right with no content in it. Now I want this page to be a full width page. I think that in general I just like uh, full width home pages. So I'm going to go back to Rapid Weaver. I'm going to click out of website colors for now. Click on sidebar, right, left, remove. I'm going to remove that. And again, with a click of a button, that sidebar is gone. I have a nice full width page. So I'll preview that again in Google Chrome. And look, it just looks a lot easier on the eyes. But now I need to change the background color and some of the fonts. So let's click out of this, this. That's where we started. And go back to Rapid Weaver and let's see if we can change the content background color. I think I saw that setting, so let's see. Content background. I'm going to change it to snow white, okay? And then footer background. Let's scroll down there. Can I change that? Yeah, but I like footers that are dark, so maybe I'll just change the footer background to something really boring like this aqua blue. Ooh, that's just a bit too light. How about... And see, I'm doing this all with clicks of, you know, with a click. All right, so footer top border. Oh, we can change that too. So let's give that a funky color like this sick green called Flora. See, you can barely see it there, but there it is. Again, I'm just changing this with, you know, simple little clicks here and there. And again, I'm just using these weird colors to, you know, really show you uh, visually very easily what can be done. Okay, so now I've changed the colors of the background, of the header, the toolbar, the content area, but now I want to see if I can change some of these fonts because they don't really work for me. They're not really, I don't know, skateboarder fonts. So let's start with the site title font family. Ooh, all sorts of choices. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fonts to choose from. Pretty awesome. Uh, why don't we change it to Babus Noi? I think that's how you pronounce it. You see, and with a click of a button, it changed it there for me. All right, and let's go to the headings font because I don't think those really work with this content either. And it's always a matter of changing things based on your content, not because they look cool, but because you want something that works with your content, with your with your passion, your purpose, your theme. Okay, so let's change those headings to Babus Noi as well. And oh, wow, what a difference. See, I think that works a lot better for the skateboarding theme. Okay, and then finally, I want to change the content font family, the content meaning the um, body content here. So I want something that's really easy to read. Open Sun is fine, but I kind of prefer Helvetica. So let's do that. And there you have it, quite a few changes here with just a few clicks of buttons. And how did I do this? Again, I just found where the settings are in this premium theme so that I can make these changes without knowing any code. And so you see, you can do that too. Now, does that mean that you're going to have a drop dead gorgeous theme that looks like a professional made it? Well, possibly. I mean, you're going to have to experiment quite a bit until you get the look and feel that you're going for. So it still does take some work. It still does take some time, but when you know where those settings are, it just makes your work in terms of building and designing your site so much easier, okay? One final word, <coughs> excuse me. None of these pictures um, are mine. I need to give credit where credit is due. I found all of these on Flickr and in the, let's see, Creative Commons attribution area. So. If you go to my blog at maripfeiffer.com forward slash blog and you find this blog entry, um, I have listed all of the photographers and um, given links to them because I think their work is really beautiful and it helped me create this uh, little tutorial for you. Okay, so just remember when you're using a theme for your website, 
you need to find out where the settings are that you can change without knowing any code. If you're using WordPress, they're usually uh, very theme specific. So sometimes they're under the appearances section in the dashboard. Just look for your theme and see if you can customize it through there. Sometimes if you're using something like Woo themes or page lines, they, once you install it in your WordPress install, you'll see in your dashboard something that says Woo themes or page lines or whatever it is you're using, and you go through there to make your modifications. Okay? So I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.